Hello and welcome to Oracle Primevera P6 training course offered by Bright Future Lab. Thank you for joining this course. In this video, we will focus on Organization Breakdown Structure (OBS). Lesson Objectives. In this lesson, you are going to learn what is OBS and how to create a simple OBS in Primavera P6. First, we are planning to see what is OBS. The Organizational Breakdown Structure OBS, is a global hierarchy that represents the managers responsible for the projects in your enterprise. The OBS usually reflects the management structure of your organization from top level personnel down through the various levels constituting your business. To develop an organization breakdown structure, draw up the entire organization as a hierarchy. Define all departments and project teams. Specify functionally and approval approves the work the user performs and any groups for every user. The following is a sample of OBS. Next, we are planning to demonstrate how to create a simple OBS in Primavera P6. Go to Enterprise and click on OBS. This will open the OBS window. There you can see some OBS names already exist. So I'm going to delete the existing names first. To delete that, you can see delete or merge button at the right side of the window. Now you can create new OBS names. I have entered Chief Executive Officer as Mr. John and two directors, one is Construction Department Director, Mr. David, and second is Training Department Director, Mrs. Agnes. I have added three project manager, Mr. Thomas, Ms. Anna, and Mr. Charles under Mr. David for the project, apartment construction, shopping mall construction, and roads construction respectively. To bring them right intended, select one by one and click on the right intending button at the right side. I have added two trainers too in the training department for project training, PMP trainer, and software training, civil engineer, they are Miss Susan and Mr. Tom respectively. When you select any OBS name, OBS details will be displayed. There you can see two tabs general and responsibility. In general, you can add OBS description for the selected OBS name by clicking modify button. For example, I have selected PMP trainer, Miss Susan and given qualification details. In responsibility, you can add the assigned responsibilities for the particular person. Now you can see the display bar at the top of the OBS window from where you can select more properties for the OBS. There you can see the chart view, filter by, zoom, etc. By selecting chart view, you can see the OBS has a detailed chart. Select the table view in the display bar to get the table view again. Well. That's all for today. I hope you like this video. Share the awesomeness with your friends and folks. Happy learning!